Hi everyone and welcome back to the North Hunt Sour YouTube page. Today I'm in Toaster and I wanted to take you with me to explore the museum. So let's get started. As you walk into the museum there's a gift shop and a room at the end which I'll take you around later. I was greeted by the lovely volunteers, paid my £3.50 admission and made my way upstairs. The museum begins by taking you through the Stone Age in Toaster which I found so interesting. I love being able to see a collection of artefacts such as blades of an axe, pottery and an Iron Age needle. I learn all about their domestic life, religion, work life and there was a model village so you can get a real feel of how it looked. I really liked that the museum had a video playing explaining the Battle of Watkins Street as it made it much more interactive and there were also a number of helmets and shields which you can wear. Next I moved on to learning about daily life in Roman Toaster. Their trade, ball games they played, things they did for entertainment, religion and spiritual beliefs. Again I really enjoyed looking at the artefacts as I felt it brings what you're reading to life. Reading about their hygiene and sanitation made me feel that we take for granted what we have today. In this cabinet I saw bracelet fragments, a thimble, razor and a collection of rings to name a few. I read about the buildings, saw a fully dressed Roman soldier with his helmet, armour, dagger and sword and a model of what Roman toaster may have looked like during the 2nd or 3rd centuries plus a number of pots and glassware. Next I moved into the second room to watch a video on the Battle of Toaster and the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles. Again there was the brilliant dressing up section and a number of artefacts that have been discovered locally. As I read what it was like to live, eat and work in Saxon Toaster, I also enjoyed reading the kids facts on the wall. Up next it was Medieval Toaster as I was reading about their work, play, food, fashion, crime and punishment, I found it just the right for information to read and absorb. In this cabinet were medieval spoons, candle holder, keys, bronze brooch and a lead weight. The next section took you through toaster in the Civil War, the Great Fire and Georgian toaster. There was an activity corner for younger ones and another dressing up area. I really think that the museum has thought of it all. Finally, the last area took you through Victorian Toaster, Toaster in World War I and II, and lastly, Modern Toaster to today the present. After I made my way back downstairs, past the gift shop to walk around the final section, which took you through the prelude to the war, battles of Northamptonshire, impact on home life, recruitment and training. Like upstairs, there was a large display of what life was like back then, so it was easier to visualise. After I finished my tour around the museum, I wandered around the gift shop where they stock local goods such as ales and stout, shortbread, jams, pens, books and memorabilia. I purchased this postcard to send to a local residential home as part of the Postcards of Kindness Facebook group. If you have a free morning or afternoon, I would really encourage you to visit. I've learnt so much about Toaster and it's really important to support our local museums.